Let's take a look at the scariest movies keeping you up at night throughout the month of Halloween. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt's Monthly Movies. Knuckleball. A 12-year-old named Henry visits his grandfather on an isolated farm, but when his grandfather dies overnight, he is left all alone. Henry then seeks help from a mysterious neighbour, which then turns the movie into a horrific version of Home Alone. Ride. Starring Bella Thorne, Ride takes a look at the dark side of Uber. We meet James, who is a struggling actor who does ride-sharing by night, and after a less than eventful evening driving people around LA, things take a turn for the worse when one of his customers forces him and Thorne's character Jessica into his twisted, psychotic games. Suspiria. A gifted dancer arrives at a world-famous school, but after a violent murder, we discover that things might not be as they seem. The cast of Suspiria includes Chloe Grace Moretz, Dakota Johnson, and the terrifying Tilda Swinton. I still see you. It's a busy month for Bella Thorne with yet another horror. Ten years following an apocalyptic event, Thorne and her troubled classmate venture between the world of the living and the dead in order to stop a cunning killer. And of course, this Halloween, we have Halloween. Forty years after the first time we met horror icon Michael Myers, he is back to terrorise Laurie after a prison bus transfer goes horribly wrong. Production company Blumhouse has had some unusually terrible releases the past couple of years, so let's hope they can turn it around with the 11th instalment to the saga. Now let's take a look at what horrors are streaming this month on Netflix. We have some new originals such as The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. After her 16th birthday comes Something Wicked, which has Sabrina facing the choice of good or evil. The Haunting of Hill House. Based on the novel of the same name, we meet five siblings who discover what it's like to grow up in the most haunted house in America. Hold the Dark. A thriller based in the Alaskan wilderness where a wolf expert is called in to solve the disappearance of a local child. However, if you want my opinion, there's an indie horror that Netflix added recently called The Terrifier, which I absolutely loved. The acting is definitely that of a B-movie, however, Art the Clown is genuinely terrifying and his psychotic and overly violent antics make this a must-watch this Halloween. But a major gore warning as this movie is not for the faint-hearted. But let me know, what's your must-watch horror movie of 2018? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But until next week, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.